Hi, welcome to the 8th tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Ubuntu and Oracle VirtualBox. In this tutorial I'm going to start setting up LDAP for the cluster. Um, LDAP is used to share users over the cluster so it's easier to manage users on all computers. So first step is app get update. Oh, no, sorry. First step is sudo i so you can get into the root account and then yeah, app get update okay then we want to install the LDAP service so app get install slap d LDAP utils This is a pretty quick installation, but I'm. Oh, apparently it's done. Um, usually it asks for a password in this little pink screen, so just enter an admin password that you'll remember. Uh, next step is dpkg reconfigure slap d. So omit LDAP server configuration, no. Uh, the domain, we want testcluster.com, okay. Organization name is fine. Enter the admin password again and confirm the admin password. Database backend to use is HTB is fine. Uh, no, do not remove the database. Yes, move the old database. We don't do not want to allow LDAP version 2 and the setup is done. Okay, next we want to install the PHP local admin so that we can configure the service for our users. So app get install PHP LDAP admin minus Y. I mean just PHP LDAP admin, yes. Okay. So this one is pretty quick as well. I'm just going to pause the video until it's done. Okay, it's done. Now let's set up the configuration. So vim slash etc slash php ldap admin slash config dot php okay we want to go down quite a bit until we find a line that says a uh, dollar servers with a little arrow thingy I'll show you when it comes up these are all just comments well there's a config line okay it's here there's servers we want to set up so remove the my LDAP server and then replace it with master.testcluster.com I think. Oh no, not this one. This one can stay my LDAP server or whatever name you wanted to have. The host we want to change to master.testcluster.com Okay, the base, this example should be replaced with testcluster.com. Uh, next one is the login is fine. The bind ID, we want to replace example with testcluster, well, testcluster as well. And I'm pretty sure that's all for this file. Okay, so we can close this. Okay, now we want to log into the web admin so that we can actually configure it. So get open your web browser. Hold on. Yeah. And then go to the public IP address, which is slash 23. 
and then PHP LDAP admin. Now you should f see this screen. Uh, over here, click on login, and then it should give you this, and just enter the password you selected earlier, and authenticate. Okay, now we'll see this page. Um, first off, we want to create our basic structure for the user database. So, first we're going to click create new entry here. And then it's going to pop up a lot of warnings that we can pretty much ignore. Um, I'm just going to do a basic thing. So, I'm going to set up a generic organizational unit and then I'm gonna call this user groups, well just groups, this is going to be our user groups and then commit and then I'm gonna create a new entry also a generic organizational unit and call it users this is going to contain all of the users that we create Okay, first off, we're going to create a few groups. So click on OU groups. Then, hold on, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. Okay, that's better. Now you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so just click on OU groups. And then over here, click on create a child entry. Uh, we're going to create a generic post IX group. And then you didn't see that sorry create child entry entry generic post ix group and then i'm going to call it admins and create commit then click on ou groups again create a child entry another post ix group and then call it users and commit okay if we click the plus here we'll see the two groups that we we just created so I'm going to create a user now. So click on OU users, create a child entry, and then select generic user account. Now odds are you're going to see this, which is a bit weird, and then the error saying error trying to get non existent value, blah blah blah. And the fix for this is pretty simple. Just open Putty again. And then I can find. We want to edit a file in slash usr share php ldap admin slash lib slash template render with template and render capitals. Uh, so when you're there, just open it. We want to go down to line 2469. Uh, but it shows the line number over here. So just page down all the way. Okay, 2469. This is it. So it's this line. You'll see the error says it cannot find password hash. So we want to change this password hash at, on this line. If I make this a bit bigger. To change this password hash yeah, to password hash underscore custom. And that should be it. Just write and quit the file. And to refresh the page of the LTAP admin. Oh, hold on. Um, OU, click on OU users, create a child entry, a generic user account, and now the, the area is, is gone. So common name should be, I'm just going to create a user called me. Uh, GID number, by default is going to be in the users group. Home directory in slash users slash me, last name my surname no that should be me common name should be me as well password 
enter a password for your user. Oh, that one's wrong. You can select the encryption method you want to use. I'm just going to stick to MD5 for now. And then user ID, I'm just going to set to me, create object. And then it's going to ask to commit, so just commit it. Now we should have a user here, which is awesome. Okay, we want to add this user to the admins group as well. So just select CN admins, add new attribute, member UID, and then I'm going to add me. Update object, update object. We have to do this to the users group initially as well. So member ID, me, update object. So for future reference, if you want to add more users to a group, select the group and then modify group members. And then you'll see the available members here. There are no other users in the LDAP account or well, in the LDAP database, but you can select them here and add them to the groups or remove them from the groups. Same for, the, uh, for both databases. Uh, both user groups. Um, that's it for this tutorial. In the next one I will set up the client so that you can actually log in from the nodes using the LDAP accounts. Thanks for watching.